Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling one of the biggest questions that has captured the imagination of scientists, futurists, and even sci-fi fans. Can we terraform Venus? Now when you think of Venus, your mind might immediately jump to hot hellish planet. And yeah, it's true, Venus is a nightmare of extreme temperatures, acidic clouds, and crushing atmospheric pressure. But what if, just what if, we could transform it into something more Earth-like? I know what you're thinking. Wait, Venus? The one that's hotter than an oven? The one with acid rain and a pressure that would crush a tank? Yeah, that Venus, but we're going to explore the science, the crazy ideas, and the real possibility of making Venus a second home for humanity. But before we get into all that, if you're curious about the wonders of the universe and love exploring intriguing topics, you won't want to miss what we have in store. By subscribing, you'll join a community that dives deep into fascinating ideas, fun experiments, and mind-blowing facts every week. Plus, you'll be the first to catch our latest content that promises to entertain and inspire. Our goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Every viewer counts, so go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and be part of our adventure. Exciting discoveries await. Now, back to the video. Before we even get into how we might terraform Venus, let's talk about why we'd want to. After all, Earth is our home, and we're doing our best to make sure it stays that way, even with all the challenges we face. But the idea of terraforming Venus has been suggested because Earth's population is growing, and we might need to find a new home eventually. Venus is the closest planet to Earth in terms of size and composition. It's often called Earth's sister planet, but the difference is stark. If we could make Venus more hospitable, it might serve as a backup home, or at least a space station or research hub in our solar system. Plus, who doesn't love a good science challenge? The idea of turning a deadly, inhospitable planet into something we can live on is just crazy enough to be interesting. First off, let's break down why Venus is, well, not a place where you want to spend your vacation anytime soon. Venus has an average surface temperature of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. This temperature is high enough to melt lead, so yeah, probably not ideal for a picnic. Venus has an atmosphere that is about 90 times the pressure of Earth's. If you could stand on the surface, it would feel like being deep in the ocean, but on land. The pressure would crush most human-made objects in a matter of minutes. Venus's clouds are made of sulfuric acid. To put it simply, if you tried to breathe the air on Venus, you'd basically choke on poison and your lungs would be severely damaged. Not exactly the vacation paradise we're looking for. Unlike Mars, which has traces of water in the form of ice, Venus has no liquid water. Water is essential for life as we know it. Without it, any plans for terraforming are going to have to get really creative. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. How could we possibly terraform Venus? A lot of ideas have been floated over the years, some more realistic than others. But one thing is clear, terraforming Venus isn't just about changing the weather. It's about completely overhauling the entire planet. One of the biggest obstacles to making Venus habitable is its insane heat. So how do we cool it down? Solar shields. One proposed method involves placing massive solar mirrors or shields in space to block some of the sunlight that hits Venus. These mirrors would orbit the planet and reflect some of the sun's energy away, theoretically cooling Venus down over time. The idea is to create a cooling effect that reduces the planet's surface temperature to something more tolerable. This would require incredibly advanced technology and might take centuries or even millennia, but it's a starting point. Another concept is to make Venus's clouds reflect more sunlight. By introducing reflective aerosols into the atmosphere, kind of like cloud seeding here on Earth, we could theoretically increase the albedo, reflectivity, of the clouds, bouncing more sunlight away and helping the planet cool down. This idea is based on mimicking some natural processes on Earth, though it's a bit of a long shot. If we can cool Venus, the next step is addressing its crushing atmospheric pressure. At present, Venus's atmosphere is made mostly of carbon dioxide, CO2, which is a major contributor to the planet's extreme greenhouse effect. 
To make the atmosphere more breathable and less toxic, we need to reduce the amount of CO2. But how? Carbon dioxide removal. One idea is to remove the CO2 directly from Venus's atmosphere. Some scientists have suggested using giant chemical reactors or even sending special spacecraft to absorb the CO2 and then store it or turn it into something else. This would be an enormous task, and the energy required would be immense. But if we could find a way to start reducing CO2, it could slowly relieve the pressure. Building giant sinks. Another idea involves creating giant artificial sinks that could absorb the excess carbon dioxide. These could be massive structures or even advanced algae-like organisms capable of taking in CO2 and converting it into something non-toxic. But first, we'd have to figure out how to build them on a planet that doesn't exactly have a welcoming atmosphere. This one is a biggie. How do we give Venus an atmosphere that's suitable for humans to breathe? Venus doesn't have oxygen, so we'd need to create some kind of breathable atmosphere. Introducing oxygen. One possible way to do this is by introducing photosynthetic organisms to Venus, like algae or cyanobacteria, which could slowly convert CO2 into oxygen. But here's the catch. Venus is extremely hot and has very little liquid water. So we'd need to introduce an artificial form of liquid water, or at least some kind of habitat, where these organisms could survive long enough to make a difference. Terraforming through bacteria. Another wacky but cool idea is introducing extremophiles, organisms that can survive in harsh environments. On Earth, there are bacteria that thrive in acidic, high-pressure environments. If we could somehow engineer or bring these organisms to Venus, they might be able to slowly transform the environment into something more Earth-like. These organisms could help break down the sulfuric acid in the clouds and produce oxygen as a byproduct. Now let's talk about the biggest hurdle, how realistic are any of these ideas? The short answer is very challenging. Venus is not a place you can just wave a magic wand and transform. In fact, experts are divided on whether terraforming Venus is even possible at all. The technology needed to pull off any of these ideas is crazy advanced, and we're nowhere near the ability to tackle such a massive project. It's likely that any real terraforming of Venus would take centuries, if not millennia, and it would require resources and energy on a scale we can't even comprehend. That said, even if we can't terraform Venus today, the research and ideas generated could teach us a lot about how to live on other planets, whether it's Mars, Venus, or some other world. So, can we terraform Venus? In the grand scheme of things, it seems like a monumental task, one that's currently well beyond our capabilities. But can we do it in the future? Maybe. It's an exciting prospect, even if we're still figuring out how to build the necessary technology. Who knows, maybe one day, Venus will go from being a hellish furnace to a place we can call home. But for now, it remains a very cool idea to think about. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you believe that terraforming Venus is possible? Or should we focus our efforts elsewhere? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of space. Until next time, keep looking up. Who knows what we'll discover next? And hey, if you like this video, click on this one right here. What are you waiting for? Click on it.